y'all. Uh, see, see what happened was I wasn't gonna do a video tonight. Um, uh, for having have not. Um, for some reason I'm tired. But two, I wanted to continue to give y'all the energy for that review like I did um last week. But last week it gave me something back to back, and here it was just a couple of moments with Jennifer, and then her antics is what got me. Uh, before and plus, I didn't want to waste this outfit. Yeah, I really hit the uh, nail on the coffin when I picked this out this morning. I was feeling myself just a little bit. But, um, and this is really, uh, and actually, really, the outfit that I, this is really, this is simple to me. It's just like black, you know, it's black. And then it's predictable. And you already know I'm not a predictable type of person, but, you know. But, um, yeah, in regards to that, I mean, I'm, I guess I could talk about the episode. I can't. I don't want to go back, you know, back and forth with the de details. But because even next week, it's probably gonna give us. I think even next week gonna give us a little song. Because even though it's playing the previews, and you know when they play the previews or the highlights of what's going to happen next week, that didn't give me nothing either. So I'm not sure, you know. And plus, I did not get on camera and then say, you know, try to give y'all a review and it's all dry and stuff like that. And I don't want to go through like. Well, this happened here and that happened there. It's like, no, that's, it's played out to me enough. Enough people on YouTube is doing it. If I can't give y'all what I gave y'all last week with the energy and the antics and stuff, I don't want to do it. But, uh, anyway, uh, in regards to that, I would say Jennifer Antics, oh my goodness. I'm just so here for everything she has brought. Um, through the course of this week and last week and, and when everything actually, actually, what hell, she started in the papers and... Had them arrested in jail, and and is it me? Or is that was Veronica uh, braids at the bottom burnt? Let me let me find out. She um she went yak weave and burnt weave and braid hair, looking a good mess with them stockings on. How old them stockings is? They ain't told yet. You know you classy in jail when your stockings ain't told. But it uh but in regards to that, it's like mm, yeah uh. It isn't me or Jim never scared. <laughs> he said, your wife is a bit. He, he said the B word. And then after they got healed up and they was rustling and tussling. Jim, he, they was like, say it again. I did, you bet you will say it again. He said, he said it again. Jim ain't playing no games. He is fed up with Veronica. And I'm sorry. Y'all can say how loyal David is. As long as you want. Well, you know, he's going to hold down for his wife no matter what. Bull crap. Stupid and is stupid. Because the way David is rocking for Veronica. Veronica was not rocking like that with David. Okay. Not even. Even when he even attempted to sleep with Megan. When she pushed him to the edge. He still didn't. And even if, and you would think a woman like her, with her caliber would uh, know and understand that. But I promise you, I'm going to give y'all some good old tea. Veronica head ain't wrapped on tight. And I'm not talking about these little antics that she had, had with Wyatt and then having Quincy. Th I'm not, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about it's something deep. And I'm going to need for Tyler Perry to go ahead and get into it. Because I know he's going to get into it sooner. Like, we're going to tap into Veronica real side while she's so damn evil and just manipulative. We gonna get down to it. I I think in her previous life she was on drugs. I think she was molested. There's a, there's a couple of things you can't grow up that mean and bitchy for, for and nothing ain't happened to you. I'm sorry. That just ain't that ain't a personality. That ain't an attitude that she learned from school, and that ain't an attitude that that goes along with her profession. It's something seriously wrong with her. Because it's like she's it's like she has that bipolar, she has that real mean bitch there. But have y'all noticed when Catherine came out, when David came out, when Jeffrey came out to speak with the DEA or even when he was released? Don't say nothing. You you're represented by Congress. Don't say nothing. Why are you so invested in what they got to say? Is it some tea they know about that we don't know about yet? Like I I I really want to know. I really want to know. So, and then, um, when Candace came out, I was like, girl, Candace, go sit your face down. Talking about, did you go to the cops? Oh, he was at, and then the way he was playing this whole thing was like, he went to the cops, snitched on her, and then got a walk away deal until Wyatt was like, yeah, I hit your brother. Okay. 
I found the guy that, uh, hit you. when I, on the next episode, I found the guy. Okay, what the hell I got to do? That was months ago. What you gonna do? He put a head out on him? Like, girl, go sit your ass down somewhere. You was nowhere to be found. You was too busy wrapped up with Jim to even be there for your brother. So go sit down somewhere. I only want, I don't even want to hear about it. And she better not be calling her goons for nothing. Because I don't want to hear nothing about it. And if that's what was going to happen, I, the, the day that happened, I'm not going to review it. Because I, I don't want to see it. That was wrapped up, tied up, we done. We already had the dramatics for that. I, 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 we don't need no damn retaliation. All we concerned about is Jim, Benny, War, Wyatt, Jeffrey, David, Jim, Catherine, and Veronica. And the DEA. That's all we concerned about. We don't care about Candace and her top retaliation. Hell, I don't even care if she get killed off. Like, I'm, I, I ain't here for the re retaliation part. You late. You ain't here for your brother then. So don't be here for, don't be here for him now. Worried about your life and worried about war. Uh, shooting you in the, shooting you in, in the nipple. Uh, what else? What else, uh, that happened? Um, oh, when the DEA came in, it was like, Veronica, where's your hair? Did I tell when I tell you I fell back off the couch, I was pinned to the floor. When I tell you Life Alert can get here fast enough, I think I had to call nine one one, and you know they calls. So I got a I got a lot I got a lawsuit for life for Life Alert because that buzzer don't work no more, and they refused to come out to the house and fix it. But we but I digress though. We are gonna get that fixed up. But she's like, come here and look closer, and she's like, oh you want an, you want another charge? And she's like, yeah, definitely. She's like, bitch. You better listen to and then she's like Catherine was like Veronica and she's like yeah you better listen to your convict friend and she's like oh you we gonna go there Jennifer and she's like yeah it's my uh yeah because of my cabinet you should be scared and Jen Jennifer's like bitch scared of what because I can think of and do things that a man would never can do or think of or even Harper and she's like who the hell are you supposed to be the boogie man. She's like, I'm worse. It's not, why would you be worse? Because I'm a woman. And she's like, I'm scared. She's like, bitch.